What is happening everybody? This is the Traveling Salvation Show, your go-to channel for RV renovation, full-time eBay reselling, and full-time RV living. Here, we show you how to do all of the aforementioned. However, you may not want to do any of the aforementioned. You may have, I don't know, for the 4th of July, you may have invented something like the George Washington beer helmet, and you want to get that thing mass produced before the 4th of July gets here, which is about two or three days away, so that's gonna be really difficult. We can help you get the cash by showing you how to resell on eBay. Don't know about the logistics, how we can help you with that. Nonetheless, doesn't matter. Today, what we're gonna do, we are in beautiful Fort McAllister. Look around. Beautiful Fort McAllister, about 30 minutes south of Savannah. And today, what we're gonna do is go up to Savannah do a little thrifting then come back decorate for the fourth of july and then go enjoy some of the festivities i guess they're shooting cannons and muskets so put on your george washington beer helmet and come along with us join the festivities and come thrifting with us and let us show you how you can do the same thing we are dropping this stuff off then we're going to go into savannah and do some thrifting I hear hairy tornadoes in town, so we may not find anything if we go behind him. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't even bat an eye. No. A lot of people say that they can't mail something that's just right outside of their zone. I mean, we do it all the time. People always ask, how do we ship stuff? We just ship it wherever we're at. We take it to the post office and ship it, and they take it. All right, Goodwill stop number one in Savannah. This is Savannah? Uh, I think we're right outside of Savannah technically not savannah but we'll be in savannah and soon you can't pass by a goodwill though yeah on the way to a goodwill that's crazy yes too much in there but i did get these air force ones and these air, these air max 6.99 each what'd you get i got some heelys heelys stop number two we are definitely in savannah right now the traffic is horrible yeah around here but this is it this is it, it looks like a circuit city that's what it looks like it looks like an old circuit city stop number three. three and this is actually an outlet store we've been here before we've been to this outlet store before rebecca got something i think flip-flops we only found one thing and it wasn't worth waiting in line for so we just gonna go worth about 15 bucks of the wine cooler thing i don't know all right so this is goodwill stop number four this is the final one before we go go back and we're gonna decorate for the fourth of july yeah and our decoration consists of a million tiny little flags that i bought last year at a goodwill bins for whatever the weight of a bunch of tiny little american flags would be sale somebody's got one bidding for 55 dollars so i had to get it it cost me 50 cents got this for a dollar 66 266 for everything that's crazy so we didn't
didn't quite make it yesterday to put out the flags and stuff. It is actually tomorrow morning in your time. By the time you see it, it's probably the day after tomorrow morning. But let's go. Let me hold it. You got it? Yeah, I got it. Oh, look. I forgot about these. Oh, Bam, look at that. Two ninety nine dollars at the Goodwill. Bam, what you talking about? Yeah. Here. Oh, I don't have as many as I thought. I couldn't have weighed much. They might have got broken. Not that, bad. folks, if you wonder, that is our one compartment right there for us. This compartment is the one we get. Everything else is for eBay stuff. Yeah. But here is what we're working with here. What's a flag, bro? Got some... <laughs> Ooh, a bubble wrap. Bubble wrap. Get all them flags. That's plenty of flags. Plenty. So yes. what we're gonna do probably is go around the edges of the road maybe what do you want to do what do you think um yeah space it out um on the road that's a lot of them picking them up is a lot of work too we picked them we put them out before and then it rained and they get real dirty oh you gotta gosh, rinse them dirt all, gets all over off them. so hopefully this does not happen today they do not get rained on and dirty and we do not have to wash a hundred tiny american flags because we will just like the moon. You're not jamming it, Rebecca. You got to jam it. It's hard. The ground is hard. Now jam it. Jam it. All right, so that's it. That's what we came up with. The bunch of little tiny flags. We are America up for the 4th of July. America. So this is our itinerary and it was given to us in the form of the Declaration of Independence. Mm -hmm. Ain't that pretty cool? <laughs> <laughs> the Declaration of Independence says at 10 o'clock there's blacksmithing, 11, 1 and 2 there's musket firing, 10, 12 and 3 there's cannon firing and we will be doing some if not all of that stuff. Yep. There are cannons everywhere around here. And that's what we're going to do right now is go watch one of them be fired. I'm assuming in reference to the 4th of July. Maybe they just fire cannons around here all the time. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's a regular thing. They just shoot cannons. Big city, yeah. It's like midnight. Feel like we just walked up into Gone with the Wind. Need some of those around the RV. Yeah. <laughs> Take a look at how cool this place is. I wish the camera could catch it. It really, you can't really tell how awesome it is out here. So, if we have not mentioned, this is a Civil War fort that was used at the end of Sherman's march to the sea. So, this is the last place he stomped out and burned. Our hometown, actually, he went around also, though, because he said it was too beautiful. Macon, Georgia was too beautiful to burn, uh -huh. he said. If he'd go through there now, he'd probably burn it, though. Oh, yeah. I just lit it. <laughs> Is that how it works? <laughs> Not quite, but in the cartoons. They would set cannonballs in this furnace, get them fiery red hot, and then shoot them at wooden vessels. I mean, I'm speechless. Yeah. That's awesome. That's, That's crazy. crazy. All right, man. Oh, 
This is a killer. Oh man, you can actually go into this one. Dude, this is creepy. Just like Saul. My flashlight's not even bright enough. It's so dark in here. It's really creepy. I feel like we're being uh about to be air braided. Yeah, like, what if they like, oh my god. How cool is this? We all up in the fort. I don't, th I don't know if we even supposed to be here though. I don't know if we are supposed to be in the barracks. All the doors are open? <laughs> oh my gosh. This is <laughs> crazy. All right, rise and shine, man. Hit the day. A lot of cannons. Yeah. Oh, this Columbia ad. They named their cannons back then. It'd be cool to shoot them. <laughs> we just watched a movie when Ernest T. Walrath, <laughs> the Ernest goes to camp, dude. He, uh, yeah. it was Ernest Rise Again. We just saw this movie like the day before yesterday. Ernest yeah. found a Civil War cannon and it had a huge cannonball. Yeah. And it was historical and sometimes, forget it. VR Rifle Magazine. Ooh, that's where they got the bullets. Give me back my bullets. I can't see nothing there in here. There's a bomb. Is that a bomb? Or is yeah, that a cannon? That's a that's a oil lamp, I think, Rebecca. Or it could be a landmine thing. I think it's a landmine. The shells. Shells. Six P ammunition. Time fuse. What's that? I don't know. I feel like this is the perfect time to do an episode of like 18. 18. We should be building and blowing something up right now, though. Yeah. Yeah. You think it's coming this way? It looks like it's coming this way. Oh, this house awesome lightning. Man, look how pretty it is out here. This is the. What's the river called? Ogeechee. Ogeechee. I think it's... So out there was filled with landmines and after Sherman took over, he had all the Confederates go through and remove the landmines because people kept blowing up. Yeah, but what if they missed some? What if there's one out there right now? Could be, be just like, be just like Ernest Rides again. Yeah. We could go find it. <laughs> nice, Mr. Miyagi style. So this is the battlefield. I guess you could pause that and read that if you like. But this, which no longer resembles a field, was the battlefield. I'm gonna get a close up. Not a close up, but up high. A, a high shot. This would be it. This where it went down. This is the 10 inch mortar cannon. Take a look at that thing. When's the last time you seen a cannon like that? That's a big one. Look at that one. Got her plugged up so nobody can come out here and start another civil war. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Tomorrow they will be serving watermelon after they fire the muskets and the cannons, but yeah. we decide to avoid the watermelon crowd because there's going to be a lot of people, I guess, and we don't want to fight over watermelon. We just go to the grocery store and buy one for $5. But yeah. Judging by the crowd today, it probably will not be a huge watermelon crowd. Nonetheless, mm -hmm. we are going to do the cannon firing and stuff today and do the maxing and relaxing on the fourth, yep. the chill mode. Mm Looks a little Vietnam-y around here. Look at that. Oh, what kind of spider is that? That's a, a crab. It's a crab. It's gone Probably under dead. that dead shell. From here, I will utilize my implement.
this is pretty cool. This is what Sherman did to the railroad tracks in the south so they couldn't be used again. He would heat them up, twist them up. I forget there was actually, they called it something. I don't know, but that's what they did so they couldn't be straightened out and used again. So you, they called it railroad bending? Ultimate brownie batter. Oh my God, that's good. Oh, cold. They should have shot dipping dots out of the cannon. Oh my God. So we just barely made it before we got rained out. That is it, folks. Drop a comment in the comment section. Tell us how you spent your 4th of July. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and happy 4th of July. Wear that beer helmet with pride.